Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus outbreak continues to expand. Thanks for joining us here at 630. I'm Alicia Roberts and I'm Ashley Thompson in for Mike Dunstan. Tonight, the coronavirus has killed 21 people in the US as the outbreak spreads to 33 states. And right now, passengers on the Carnival Panorama cruise ship are back on land tonight. This follows a medical situation Saturday that forced them to stay on the ship for an extra day. A passenger showed symptoms and was subsequently tested for the coronavirus. The results of that test came back negative and dozens of passengers on the Grand Princess cruise ship now headed to our state. That's right. Governor Kemp announcing this morning. Those passengers are heading to Dobbins Air Reserve Base in Marietta. CBS 46's Yasmina Alston is live outside the base and Yasmina many asking what does this all mean? Well, Alicia, the governor's office says 34 people from Georgia and other Americans from the East Coast who have been on that ship will be coming to Dobbins to be tested and quarantined for possible exposure to the coronavirus. Now, the governor's office says this was a federal decision, but the governor supports that decision. Now, at least 21 people on the Grand Princess have tested positive for the coronavirus. More than 3,500 people from 54 countries are on board. The Department of Defense is screening all passengers before they disembark. Now, the chairman of the Cobb County Board of Commissioners also releasing a statement this morning reminding his county that the passengers coming to Dobbins do not have the coronavirus and are being quarantined as a precaution. The county also reminding people the risk to the general public remains low. We are who you are. We're here with you and we're going to be taking every single possible measure to ensure that we are on top of this and that uh, we're going to take uh, we're going to be doing everything we possibly can uh, to ensure that your health is the most prominent concern we have. And the Grand Princess is supposed to dock in Oakland on Monday and the governor's office says those passengers are expected here at Dobbins late Monday or early Tuesday morning. We'll of course keep you updated live in Marietta. Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. Yeah.